This is Paul Messink. He's a glass artist and an instructor, and he's here to talk about his work and his new video education series, Creating Dimension. Paul, tell us about your new video series. Well, uh, I have been teaching my uh, techniques for about eight years, and during COVID, I took some time out to re-record an earlier video series. I expanded it from eight hours to 30 hours of content. And I teach you everything about how I create my layered glass pieces. And what techniques and topics do you cover in the video series? I, I cover everything you need to make these. Um, at the beginning, the focus is on working with glass enamel because we paint with glass enamel on individual layers of glass. And then, the, as the course progresses, we move into the processes that you need to stack those layers in a kiln and fuse them together into a single solid piece. And you mentioned there are 30 videos. There's 30 hours of video. Oh, okay. Yeah. And what other materials do you get with them? Well, you get the... the the video, you get about 300 pages of notes and handouts that go along with each video. You get downloadable firing schedules for the kiln, materials lists, and then for even some of the sample projects that we cover in the class, you get downloadable files that you can print so that you can use those as a reference while making your, your exercises. Why is painting on layered glass different than other kinds of art? Well, the, the biggest issue that you deal with in, in, in my technique is at the end we fuse all the layers together in a kiln. And the kiln gets to almost 1,500 degrees. So most, most materials that you think about as paint, whether it's oil paint or acrylic, those would burn up at that heat. So we have to use something called glass enamel. Glass enamel is essentially co the color the, the pigment that you add to glass to turn it different colors, we paint that on the surface and then fire it on. Um, and these enamels are specially designed so they withstand the, uh, the heat in the kiln. So um, the material is different. Then the other thing that's different is, is normally in a painting, you're painting on a single surface, a canvas, or a watercolor paper or a board. We divide an image into multiple layers and we paint a different part of the image on each layer. So then when they're stacked together, you get a lot of dimension. You can see that some trees are in the foreground and other trees are in the background. So this is a piece called Misty Morning. It's nine layers of glass. So the very back layer is a layer of white and then the other eight layers have uh, trees painted on them, a different tree in each layer. So this is essentially the same piece, but I have the layers uh, as individual layers, but they have not been uh, fused or melted together. And so you can see from here that a different part of that image is on each layer. And as you go into the background, the trees get thinner and smaller. Um, in my style, the colors get lighter because typically my trees kind of fade into a white or a gray background. And then the back layer has just a little bit of background color. When you finish with your layers, such as the blue, then what is the process to fuse them? Well, um, once they're painted, they, they go into my kiln. Uh, they go in there and I heat them to 1100 degrees and that, that burns the enamel onto the surface of the glass. But when all the layers are complete and everything's been fired on, then I stack them on the floor of the kiln and then I have to surround them with special ceramic, very smooth ceramic. Uh, and then, then that stack goes in the kiln. 
depending on the thickness, it may be in the kiln uh, anywhere from two days to a week. For your students, for the video instruction, uh, what is the typical layering? How many layers do the students produce? We, we start in a somewhat smaller format. We usually work in a six inch by eight inch size. And this is eight by ten, mm -hmm. so it's a little little less than half of this, or a little more than half of this size. And they usually work with seven layers, rather than nine layers. Uh, what would be the expectation of someone who's never done this before that wanted to take this class? What could be their expectation for final product? Um, I get that question a lot because I get I get people that say, "Well, I've never painted before. I've you know I'm afraid of a paintbrush." I geared the class so that even if you've never painted before, you're going to learn some great techniques. Um, the very first technique I teach is a stencil technique, um, so that you don't feel like you have to be Picasso right away or Rembrandt. Um, and it's, it's often easier to cut a stencil out of clear plastic than to pick up a brush and start doing things. So I start at a very basic level. We start with some very simple exercises and then work up to trees or mountains. And my, my new series has lots of demos. In the 30 hours of video content, there's, it's probably about 15 hours of instruction and 15 hours of demos. So I demo everything from um, how to do stencils, how to use the brush, how to use other tools like a sponge or a palette knife. And we just explore a lot of things. All, I've got demos on how to do water scenes and how to do clouds, for example, or mountains. Can the videos be streamed? Yes, um, all the videos are uh, come in a streaming format so that you can watch them on a computer or on a tablet. But when you buy the videos, they never expire. You can watch them over and over. So if there's a particular demo that you are trying to reproduce and it didn't turn out well the first time, you can go back and rewatch it as often as you want. Paul, how can people find out more information if they're interested? Well, go to my two websites. Mm -hmm. The first one is CoachellaGlassworksEDU.com mm -hmm. and that has information on all the videos. The videos um, are packaged in the four series. So there's four uh, courses that you can buy, but you can save money and buy the entire bundle um, together. And then the second website is CoachellaGlassworks.com. And that is the site where you would buy the enamels and the glass and the tools and so forth. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, you can also go to my artist website, which is paulmessink.com. I, I enjoyed learning about your technique right now in your recent video series. Knowing you a little bit, uh, I know how organized you are, and so uh, I'd like to take the class myself. Let me sign up right now. All right, I'll sign you up for my next live class. <laughs>